and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Onyinye Anikwe guys we're preparing to start school man this journey to finding a school in the UK was not an easy one but thank god he granted us our desired schools you should see how my kids were jumping up when that call came in hello are you joining Jess's mom guys you think you know how to speak English until you come to this country and you hear English anyways that's just for another day in this video, I'm going to be sharing our experience on getting a school here in the UK. First things first, you need to find a house. A lot of things you need to do to get settled into this country actually depend on you having a house address. Things like opening an account, um, getting your national insurance and so on. Generally, primary school students are expected to attend school in their local community often within you know walking distance so you really want to prioritize finding a house before you get here so if you haven't seen my video on how we got a house before we arrived in the uk you want to check that out once we got that sorted out we began researching for schools around us to do this we went to google we searched primary and secondary schools near us because we have two kids in primary school and one in secondary so we did those searches like separately search for primary schools first then when you type that into google search you find a list of schools by order of their proximity to your location if you click on the school and enter your address you can see how long it will take you to walk or drive to the school from your home i'm going to try to add visuals to this video so that you understand what i am saying so you're expected to have at least three schools by the order of preference. So you have a first choice, a second choice, and a third choice. If you have up to three schools, put all three. Cause like when I was watching videos, people said they put one, one school and then they got the one school. But if you have three schools that are close to you, I would really recommend that you put those three schools. So that way you're more likely to get at least one of those three schools. Another thing you want to look out for is the Ofsted rating of the schools. So Ofsted rating is a way to measure how well a school is performing in the United Kingdom. It's like a report card for schools that helps parents, students and the government understand how good a school is. So the way the schools are rated is a school could be outstanding. This is like giving it an A+. plus. It means that the school is excellent in almost every way. Teachers are great, students are doing well, and everything is top-notch. A school could also be good. This is like getting a, a B or an A. It means that the school is doing well overall. Teachers are doing a good job, students are learning, and everything is going smoothly. It could also require improvement. This is like getting a C or D. It means that there are some problems that need fixing. Maybe the school needs better teachers or some issues need to be sorted out. It could also be inadequate. You don't want to put your child in a school with this rating. This is like getting an F. It means that the school is not doing well at all. There are serious problems and big changes need to be made. You want to look out for schools with outstanding or good Ofsted rating. You may consider schools that require improvement if need be. To determine the offset rating of the school, you could check that on the school's website or you just go to snob.co.uk. You put in the location in the UK and the name of the school and then you get the offset rating. You may also want to decide whether you want a state school, an academy, a fit school or an independent school. So an independent school is more like what we call private schools in Nigeria. You might also want to look into the extracurricular activities um, offered by the school. 
sometimes you might not get your first choice but don't worry you have options and that's why you need to pick at least three schools so that if you don't get your first choice you can get your second and if you don't get your second then you are most likely to get the third for primary schools applications op often open around november the year before your child is due to start school while secondary schools um, application open in the autumn of the year when your child is in year five so that's from age 10 to 11. we're late for this for very obvious reasons so we're limited on the schools to select because we had only one primary schools in our area that was like three minutes walk same also for the secondary school so the only secondary school we could get around us was um, three minutes walk and then the next one we saw was about like one hour and that's a long distance for um, a child to walk so after we found the schools we only had one school each for our primary school kids and then second so we used the same school as our first second and third choice after we found the school we just um went ahead to the city council website we created an account so just go to the city council website in any location where you are in the uk then on the online forms section we clicked on children and families and then in-year transfer so we, the application what we did was for in-year transfer we completed the form and got an email with the reference number the process should be done for each child so we did the same process for each of our kids and then after that we had to wait if you're really not sure what to do at this point you could just ring them your um, the council in the location where you are the phone number would be on their website just ring them and they can easily get the form started for you so two weeks after the application we got a mail saying that our kids in primary school could not be offered admission because the school was full the option was for either for us to complete another application and then the other school we found was about 30 minutes walk from the house is it that we wanted to complete another application or were ready to appeal for the first school we applied my first thought was like appeal appeal for school yeah but we had to do it so we filled out the form we got and we gave them reasons why we felt our kids need to attend that school at this point the mail for our son in secondary hadn't come in right so we gave reasons like the closest school was like 25 minutes walk and that since they are new to the country um walking especially during winter in that kind of you know since they are new will not be very good for their health we also said that we needed to integrate into our community and then schooling somewhere nearby will help us do that easily and we highlighted several other reasons then we turned in the form on friday and by thursday we got that call saying that they had been offered admission we we're so happy at this point our older son hadn't gotten his own hadn't gotten a call yet so he didn't start school at the same time that his siblings started as you can see this is the feature we took on the first day of school and he wasn't ready yet in the uk children typically start school in year one when they're about five years old um, reception is like four years i hear this has been reviewed but yet to be passed into law um so please do your research i'm not sure, quite sure about that children below the age of five typically do not attend formal school instead they attend early years education honors reads preschool play or oh, you have a child mind that take care of your child and this is not free formal education however is free from year one to year 12. student so get breakfast free of child daily at school at least in my children's school both the one the ones in primary and the one in secondary they get free breakfast and those um, in year one and two get free lunch while the older ones get to pay a stipend so far the learning experience has been really great for my kids they are loving it in their new school so we also appealed for our older kid and we also added that we really wanted him to get to school because we're concerned about his emotional health if he didn't get it since his younger ones got in school very close to the house thankfully by the thursday of the next week we also got a call after appealing for him saying that he had been offered admission so this is 
um we shopping for his um school supplies we had to go shop for his school supplies because we didn't do that when we did for his um younger ones with their uniforms for most schools you have the option of either buying from the school or buying from a store like this is like asda so right now we're at asda but we didn't get what we wanted here so we had to go with the school's service provider we really had to take another picture on his own first day of school so here is everyone in their uniforms i don't understand what kind of faces they are making here anyways so my older son is not going to school right away because he was asked to come to school a bit late so that um they can show them around the school more like an induction or something yeah so we're walking the younger ones to school they always buy flowers always show up on time they always make calls always on that facetime something about when they're holding me late at night it feels good but not right I want love but not that bad I want so We've just been managing, my husband and I have been managing you know between who stays at home with the kids so you should understand why I'm really smiling like from chin to chin because I am so excited that everyone is out of the house and we get to buy some time to you know, do some other stuff so yeah, we're heading to his school right now. That's the playground you see on the side. So there you have it. I experienced finding schools for our kids in the UK. Thank you so much for watching and bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.